Today is marmalade day, so the first thing we have to do is put on our aprons. Wait. And get a saucepan. And then we'll read the instructions. Do you want to read the instructions, Emma? Empty contents into a large eight pint or four liter, four point five liter saucepan, and add four hundred twenty five milliliters of water using the measuring mark on the side of the can. Which is there. Stir in. 1.8 kilograms of sugar, bring to the boil, stirring continuously with a wooden spoon. Reduce heat, maintain boil for a further 15 minutes, stir occasionally, add a knob of butter during, bo during boiling to disperse foam. Test for setting. Remove from heat, put half a teaspoon of marmalade into a cold saucepan. Saucer saucer and put in a cold, a cool place. Test after two minutes by drawing a finger over the surface. If it wrinkles, setting point has been reached. If not, reboil for a few minutes and test again. Stand for further two to three minutes before putting into warm jars. If peeled, fold, stir contents of each jar. Cover each jar with screw cap, parchment or film. Okay. So now we're ready to add the ingredients to the enormous saucepan. He knows some prepared Seville orange juice. And then a whole bag of sugar. And then four fifths of bag of sugar. Finally, we add, I'm going to put it in the can actually to get the last of the marmalade out, 425 milliliters. Oh, so. And then we turn on the heat. Emma? Yeah. Okay, so it's very foamy, as you can see. So we're gonna put in some butter to disperse the foam so it's reached boiling point. In goes the butter, which magically somehow is supposed to disperse the foam. And then we're gonna turn the heat down. And at this point, we'll set a timer for 15 minutes because it needs to boil for 15 minutes. And we'll turn on the oven and see heat up the glass jars. There are two reasons why we heat the jars. Uh, before we put the marmalade into them. One is that if you put hot marmalade into cold jars, they might crack. And the other reason is that if you put them in the oven um, at about 100 degrees for a few minutes, it sterilises the jars. So we're going to put a tiny bit of marmalade onto a plate and to see if it wrinkles so that we know how well it is cooked. Set a two minute timer. So it's been two minutes and now we're going to see if it's cooked. Oh, and it's wrinkly so that means it is cooked. Mm -hmm. We've decided we want the marmalade to be a little bit more set. We want it to be a little bit stiffer once it's in the jars. So we've poured another sample to see if it gets uh, even wrinklier after two minutes. So it's been a further two minutes and we're going to test it again. Yes, and that's more stiff this time. So now the time has come to fill the jars, which can be quite messy. So we're going to do it with a ladle and try to fill as little as possible. But because I know I'm going to spill some, we've got a baking tray with foil on it. So it's not too hard to clean up. 
because this stuff is seriously sticky. Now the jars are all filled up um, and we ended up with a bit left over as well so we've done a couple of ramekins and um, now I just need to put the lids on. You put the lids on while the marmalade is still hot. I don't need a cloth for this because the jars are very, very hot at the moment. Yep. Marmalade's all finished and all we have to do now is put on the last label on the last jar. They're still warm and as they cool down the lids pop and then they're completely ready. So that was our marmalade day.